Our research chair, dear colleagues, yesterday on April 24, Armenians all over the world were commemorating the memory of the victims of the Armenian genocide, organized and perpetrated by the Ottoman authorities in such a cruel and inhuman manner that the international community was obliged to invent a new term for qualification of such international outrages, crimes against humanity. Despite the fact that the consequences of the Armenian genocide are still echoing within the Armenian community, and despite the fact that even today, after 107 years, this issue is still quite sensitive for all of us, the Republic of Armenia, from the very beginning of its independence, has declared its policy of normalization of relations with Turkey without any precondition. We are consecutively following this path and reiterating our willingness to normalize bilateral relations. But are our counterparts as sincere in this process as we are? I would like to show you something. Look, this is a sign of so-called Buskur or Grey Wolves, a radical terrorist organization responsible for a series of terroristic attacks and other crimes committed against Armenians, Kurds, other minorities, and organization which is allegedly connected to the assassination of the John Paul II, Pope, and so on. You may ask why I am showing you this sign and what is the interrelation between my speech and progress report. No, dear colleagues, I have no intention to deviate from the discussion. We are discussing here the progress of our organization, progress of fulfillment of our obligation, progress in protection of our values. I'm showing you it because two days ago, Mr. Mevlu Cavusoglu, the incumbent Turkish foreign minister, has shown this to the participant of the free, uh, peaceful demonstration in Uruguay, demanding the recognition of the Armenian genocide. It is strange, dear colleagues, when a high-level European diplomat and politician promotes such a sign. It becomes even more unacceptable when it is done by a former president of this parliamentary assembly, a person who here in this hemicycle spoke about democracy, human rights, and rule of law, the person whom all of us gave support and right to represent all of us and disseminate ideas of the Council of Europe, protect the European values, allows himself to promote such a radical symbol. It's also worth mentioning that this kind of actions endanger the possible confidence-building process among the two societies. Dear colleagues, here I would like to once again state clearly that Armenia are very devoted to the European values and we are continuing to do our best to normalize Armenian-Turkish relations, expressing hope that our Turkish counterparts will have enough will to open the mutual border and establish normal relations with Armenia and contribute to the de-escalation and building of sustainable peace in our region. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Vladimir. Now I